Yeah, hey, Cherie, I'm on 15th Street. I'm like right in the middle of the street here. And let me tell you this, this is uh, Pep and Delore. They have the street shut down all the way from Ray Street that way to Vine Street this way. Pep and Delore's put this tent out here. It goes from one side of the street all the way to the other side of the street. Now take a look. This is how it's gonna work, this outdoor, what they call street seating here. You can see people got a lot of distance here. They're able to get away from each other. And this is the way they're gonna do it for a restaurant now on the road. Some restaurants just got a new landlord. The highway department. Outdoor seating has expanded right into the roadway on 15th Street. It's awesome to be a part of a city that's kind of leading the charge and stuff like this. Joe Lani is co-founder of Thunderdome. That's several restaurants, including Pep and Dolores. They're getting ready for outdoor seating and anything else that might come this way, including the weather. When they told us we'd have the ability to shut down part of 15th Street to accommodate the, uh, the outdoor dining, we decided to make the investment in the tent. At one of their other restaurants, Bakersfield, they're getting ready too, using street seating and measuring success with a tape measure, making sure there's enough space for social distancing. Big adjustments here and across the street at the Mercer. Well, obviously it's very different. Jacob Freeman says the Mercer is going to expand slowly into the outdoor seating. We aim to please, but we, our biggest priority is keeping our guests safe, keeping uh, the food at our highest quality possible. 22 chairs on the south side. And the outdoor movement is on the move at Finley Market too. They're setting up tables outside at all the surrounding restaurants as reputable restaurants begin working on their street cred. Does it take too long at any of these tables? Yeah, now the indoor parking, uh, the indoor, that all starts, the indoor dining, that begins next Thursday. And hey, you know, if people languish a little too long at these tables, they might start handing out parking tickets. Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.